about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hi guys and welcome back to our channel or if you have just stumbled across this video then welcome My name is Vicky and I'm a mum of three boys and we are off to Florida for three weeks so it's myself, my husband, our 14 year old, our 12 year old and our 9 year old. So what I thought I'd do is show you exactly what we're taking in our cases and also in our hand luggage because I love these kind of videos. Firstly because I'm nosy and secondly because I get loads of tips of things that I didn't think to take. We are vlogging while we are in Florida for the three weeks and then when we get back I will be uploading a whole series of holiday vlogs so if you do like that kind of thing then make sure you go and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram, I will also be doing daily stories and posts while we're out there so let's go and have a look at what we've packed right so these are the cases we are taking between two adults and three children although two of the children are 12 and 14 so most of their clothes are adult sizes so we've got two of the full size ones these are the it luggage i actually got these in tesco's on a really good deal i think i paid about 40 pound each for them um, and it says they're high impact mega strong and they've got like the double zips. And we borrowed the other two from Steve's mum. So we've got this one. They're like the um, soft touch cloth ones. Little bit smaller than the hard cases. So we've got two of those, flower one and we've got the black one. And they're super lightweight. But I think that will be plenty for our clothes. Hand luggage wise, we've got Steve's low pro bag. Well that's going to have all the electronics in. Then we've got my hand luggage which is going to be this Frenchy bag that I bought a little while ago in TK Maxx haven't actually used it yet but if you know me you know I absolutely adore French Bulldogs so had to have that one. I'll also be taking my little Michael Kors crossbody because I can just pop that under the seat and just put little bits and bobs and this camera can slot in there quite nicely. And then the three boys have got identical Under Armour backpacks. I am going to put separate key rings on them so they know whose is whose. These are very lightweight, they're not massive because we don't want to be loading them up. They're not going to take a great deal on the plane. They can also use these as park bags because they've got the pockets to put water bottles in, a little zip at the front. So that's what we're taking for our luggage. Now to go and pack it all. Right, so I'm going to start off with the three boys' clothes. What I'm going to do is split their clothes between these two suitcases. I'm going to make sure that there's some of all of their clothes in each suitcase, if that makes sense. So if one of these suitcases happens to get lost, there's still some of their clothes in the other one. And we're also going to do that with mine and Steve's. We're going to mix and match our clothes because the chances of losing two suitcases, well, I'm probably jinxing myself now. Hopefully, if the worst was to happen, we would only lose one and then we'd still have clothes for the rest of us. So I'll just take you through what I'm going to pack them. A lot of this is new because our boys haven't really had new clothes for quite a while, like new summer clothes, and they've also had massive growth spurts. I mean, teenager boys, they just do not stop growing. So we have been on a little bit of a shopping spree. The other thing to bear in mind is that we're going for three weeks but we do have full use of free washers and dryers in our hotels. We will definitely be making the most of those. So I haven't packed enough for every single day. I've packed enough so that I can do maybe, I don't know, two or three washes a week as well. And then it saves on weight and space. So more room to bring stuff home. So I'll start over here. We've just got underwear. I've got trainer socks for the boys. These are brand new and I've just left them clipped together so that they don't end up all over the cases. So these are for the older two. There are six pairs each. I've also packed them another couple of pairs each of different coloured ones. And then Oscar, I've also packed him about eight pairs of trainer socks. Boxer shorts, there's Bailey's Jakes and Oscars and I've done six pairs each and I know they've got six changes and I can then wash them so these are the boys spare shoes they've got their trainers that they're going to be wearing every day they've all got brand new trainers but I'm putting some older pairs in because if it rains really heavily and they get soaked and they can't dry out their shoes then at least they've got a spare pair so I'm taking those so we've got Bailey's Jakes and Oscars still on the shoes we've got shoes for around the poolside or at the water parks so Bailey and Jake have got flip-flops and these are the ones with the sort of thinner cloth um, bit that goes between your toes because they find them much more comfortable and then Oscar's got these black and white sliders which I got in Primark I think they're about three or four pound underneath the boys shoes they have a beach towel each they're all exactly the same these were also Primark and they were four pound each and while I'm up this end I will just show you I'm packing their snorkels I know some pools or hotels you're not allowed to take snorkels in but I know we won't take them to the water parks 
but we may also be visiting a lake or something so I thought I'll pack them save me buying them because it seems like every trip we go on we buy new snorkels and masks and we've got the room so I'm going to pop them in just in case I've also got some of these dive toys uh, they're just great fun to play with in the pool they sort of sink half sink one half sink one sinks a bit more and then three pairs of goggles so pajama wise we've got Bailey's Jake's and Oscars and what I've done is just pack two pairs each so these are shorts and t-shirt ones so Bailey's got two pairs Jake's got two pairs and then Oscar's got two pairs so moving on to shorts we've got Bailey's and I've got him one smart pair or like denim pair which he can wear with one of his nice t-shirts for an evening then he's got one two three he's got four jersey pairs as well so that should keep him going plenty Jake has got one smart pair these are a little bit big they're like blue chinos so he's got a belt to go with those and then he's got three jersey pairs plus the ones that he has on today which I need to get off of him and wash so he'll have four jersey pairs as well and moving along to Oscars he's got two nice jersey pairs and then he's got one two denim a cargo pair and then underneath there he's just got a little white denim pair so moving on to t-shirts these are Oscars we went to um, Abercrombie and Fitch so he's got a few of those he's got Skechers he's got um, what does that one say that one says extra which he, he sometimes is extra um, he's got a little one with surfboards and little palm trees on he's got a really cool flowery shirt in case he wants to wear it of an evening and then he's got another couple of Abercrombie t-shirts I think he's got three in total so one two three four he's got five six so he's got six t-shirts plus a shirt Jake has got one two three four five he's also got six t-shirts and some of these are Abercrombie I also bought them a couple of super dry we got these at the outlet so they were really good value I think they were like 12 99 each or something like that and then this one says make some noise not that Jake needs reminding and then t-shirt wise Bailey has got one two three four five six again I didn't actually plan them all to have six but they've all got six plus they've got obviously the ones that they're going to wear on travel day and there may be another one each out of their drawers that I haven't looked through that I pop in so they'll have six or seven t-shirts each and over here we've got hats they've all got a mickey hat we bought these when we actually revealed where we were going to them if you haven't seen that vlog i'll link it down below um their reactions were priceless so they've got a mickey hat each and a new york hat which their nan and granddad bought them back from new york when they went so we've got i think this is bailey's jake's and oscars and then we've got just three ponchos we are going to buy some when we're out there and then for swimwear they've all got two pairs of swim shorts each so we've got jake's we've got these are bailey's bailey's actually got an extra pair because i bought him another one not realizing that he still had some and i thought it won't hurt to take them oh and then we've got oscars here so he's got a zogs pair and a bright blue california pair they've also all got rash vests i need to show you oscar's one you'll see it when you watch the vlogs anyway but i absolutely love this he chose it today and he had the choice of two and of course he chose the one with the massive shark on the front so i think that's awesome the other two boys are just mountain warehouse gray and black ones like this and that is pretty much everything clothes wise that we are putting in the boys suitcases we may distribute a few of our toiletries as well okay so here is everything that steve and i are taking sorry about the lighting if it's gone quite dark it is turned very gray out there and it looks like it's about to pour with rain any second so i'll quickly take you through some of Steve's bits and then I'll show you mine because he's got a little bit less than me but not, not a huge amount I am taking extras so he's taking one jumper Steve wears shorts literally like all year round unless it's minus two degrees and he never really gets cold so he's only taking one hoodie he got this the other day it's really nice and soft Bailey's also got a Jack Wheels jacket so we're going to be a little bit matchy <laughs> me Bailey and Steve anyway so that's that He's got loads and loads of trainer socks. I think there's about 15 or 16 pairs there. Then t-shirt, oh no, these aren't his t-shirts. So he's got pajamas. I bought him some new ones. Two sets of shorts and t-shirt ones. Like I said, we will be doing washing. So I think two's plenty. He's got one, two, three, four, five pairs of shorts. He's got his workout shorts and swimming shorts there. We've got 
t-shirts i think he's got one two three four five six so he's got about seven or eight t-shirts he's got his o'neill beach towel underwear i'm not quite sure how many pairs but wow loads more than me <laughs> i think he's got like three six nine two, i think he's got about 15 pairs He's got his animal flip-flops. He absolutely hates flip-flops and finds them so awkward. But I said take them because you never know, going down to the pool and things. And then these are his spare trainers. He's got new ones that he's going to be wearing on the plane and day-to-day. -day. But I said take a spare pair in case it rains. And also the tripod is going in the case because we're not allowed to take that in the hand luggage. So I think that is pretty much everything Steve's taking. I mean, he's obviously he's got his hand luggage as well. But clothes-wise that's him for three weeks and i'll just be doing some washing so <laughs> on to the woman that seems to be taking an awful lot i'll start with my shorts so i have done a try on haul which will already be up on this channel so i'll link that down below as well if you want to go and check that out and see all the new bits a lot of this is new and some of it isn't so i've tried on all the new bits in a video shorts wise i've got two pairs of dark denim shorts I've got one pair of these, I don't know what we call them, sort of cargo-y brown River Island shorts. And then I've got two pairs of jersey shorts, the red pair and a grey and pink pair. And then underneath that I've also got a pair of like jersey high-waisted black shorts. So that's me for shorts. I've got pyjamas, I was only taking two little pairs of shorts and two vest tops. Um, and then I've ended up putting my Mickey ones in because you can't go to Disney and leave Mickey shorts at home, can you? And then I've also bought in... This other pair that I got in Primark with the, like the frilly bottom and with those I just wear either white vest tops or I've got like a navy blue vest top with like a white heart on it. These are just like primark vest tops because that's all I ever wear when I go to bed really is shorts and vest tops. This pile is all my different vest tops that I'll be wearing in the parks. These are from like River Island and I've got one from Zara couple from new look i've got a pile of t-shirts here so i've got my couple of disney ones and then we've got the different style like thai style t-shirts vest tops i've got a one with a pocket on basically just not your plain vest tops i've got a black one with thai detail and then this nice white pretty one so that's all my different other than vest top tops so over here i've got dressy stroke evening where i suppose you'd say oh, i probably will wear the jumpsuits or play suits i don't know what they are the short ones in the park so i've got um one two i've got three play suits i've got a black lee cooper dress and then i've got two red dresses and a white shirt that goes really nicely with either my black trousers or my denim shorts so that's like my dressy pile i got these swimwear cover up these are like long lace trousers i got these in primark they've got a big split up the side and i think they'll look really nice over a swimming costume or bikini and also if you did watch my haul or if you if you do watch my haul there's one like cold shoulder t-shirt that's absolutely massive i ordered it from h&m and it wasn't worth sending back i think it was only about six pound so I'm going to use that like, as a cover up around the pool or the beach just to chuck on over my costumes. So here I've got my swimming stuff. I have packed two bikinis. So I've got orange and pink bottoms. These are actually really, really orange. I don't know if they're coming out that orange on camera. Um, I've got a navy blue bikini top and a black one. Who am I trying to kid? These are for if I get to lay around the pool at all. I'm not going to be wearing bikini tops, especially string style ones to water parks because nobody needs to see those coming off when I'm hurtling down a slide. So for that reason, I got two swimsuits. They are identical. They are black. They've got one shoulder strap and I absolutely love them. I tried one on. I got them from Sainsbury's and the second I tried it on, I was like, I absolutely love it. It's a it just made me feel so happy and confident and comfortable that I went out and bought the exact same one again because if one gets ruined or lost or is wet then I've got two so if you find a swimsuit you like I think there's no harm in getting a duplicate I did buy it in orange as well but I took that back because I just really didn't like it so I've got two longer sleeves jumpers this is an Abercrombie and Fitch one this is really thin t-shirt material but it is long sleeved so I could wear this out to a restaurant just to cover my shoulders because it can get really chilly with the air con and if I'm just wearing shorts or something then this might be nice to pop on with those and it's a little bit cropped as well. I've then got my massive 
cozy jack wheels jumper it says jack wheels physical training on the back and it is the softest jumper it's so lovely and i might be hankering for a spirit jersey as well but i haven't mentioned that one because i know they're really really expensive but i thought i'd take this because i can wear this in the room if steve has the aircon on really high which he tends to do so and on the plane on the way home at night it might be nice just to snuggle up in my jumper i've also got a little black is it bolero or shrug like cardigan it's kind of netty or lacy and it's got really pretty detailing on it it's short sleeved but i thought if i go out for an evening and wear one of those red dresses or the little jumpsuits then again i might just want something to cover my shoulders in restaurants or if we go out to like shows or wherever anywhere with aircon basically on the buses on the way back from disney i know the aircon can be crazy out there so i don't actually own any disney ears steve's convinced i need a pair i'm not but i have got these two hats i absolutely love this it says mini on it and it's the polka dots and it's got little mini ears i've also got this red checkered one i love anything red so i thought I might wear that it's got Mickey on and that's really cute these were both from Primark when back in January I think I got these they were like two pound each in the sale and I absolutely love them I've also got my Under Armour hat I absolutely love this hat this is what I'll probably wear like around the pool or something if I'm trying to read my Kindle and I want to like shave my eyes from the sun also I think hats are really handy especially when you're on a busy holiday because if it pours with rain and you've straightened your hair and you look like a scarecrow you can just put your hair up and shove a hat on and then it's sorted and nobody knows what state you look again probably being optimistic I am taking my adidas running shoes I've got my running trousers and top and I've also got my sports bras I say bras I wear two at once because you know support so because i have been running and we have been working out i thought i'd take my bits because i know that there are gyms where we're going and there's also places we can go and run if we want to or do our weight program i don't expect we'll get time but it doesn't hurt to pop them in these can also work as my spare trainers i've got a new pair of white adidas vantage which is what i'm going to be wearing around the parks but if they get soaked one day or they're really uncomfortable then i've got these as a backup shoes other shoe wise i've got these o'neill uh, flip-flops you can see there can you see my thumb my finger coming through i fear this is the end for them but they are the most comfortable flip-flops i've ever owned and they look so grotty and old but they just feel like heaven on your feet so these are definitely like if we're in the hotel room and i need to run down to the pool or i need to nip down to the shop or something you know when you just really need something to chuck on really quick so i've got those for that they're not necessarily for like going out or anything i've got these i absolutely love these shoes they just look so nice on they're really cool i think they were primark yes it's primark these again are getting really old and i was not sure whether to take them or not you can't actually see that bit once my toes are in them but again i fear that they might end up this being their last trip and they may end up staying in a bin in florida so i'll get a couple of wares out of them and then they might have to go and obviously I'm going to go shopping in Florida, so if, I, if they happen to break while I'm out there, then it's a good excuse to buy a new pair, isn't it, really? I've got my animal flip-flops. These are really nice. They're not the most comfortable, but they do look very pretty. So again, if we're just going out for a meal, perhaps if we take the car or something and I haven't got too far to walk, then these are actually really nice looking. And then I got these brand new New Look sandals. The camera is not picking it up, but they are properly fluorescent orange and I absolutely love them. And these were four pound from New Look and I've not worn these yet, but the color, I wish the camera would pick it up. The color is just amazing. So back down, we've got, like I said, I've got two sports bras and I've also got another little, a bit like a crop top, basically. I could wear it with shorts to bed or something. So I'll pop that in as well. I've got my GHD hair straighteners. I've got my makeup. I will take you through that. I've managed to get it all in this little case and I'll take you through what I'm taking. Trainer socks, I think I've got about six or seven pairs but the boys as you saw have got loads so i can just steal theirs because pretty much the same size feet theirs are a little bit bigger but between us i think we've got enough trainer socks i bought loads of new underwear to take because women's underwear can be extremely good like extremely cheap especially in primark so i just got a load of new knickers and they're all folded up so i'm taking loads probably more than anyone else actually i'm not sure i'm taking more than steve's um and I've got some like little pretty ones, but I thought, yeah, treat yourself to a few, a few new bits of underwear. So I've got those. I'm taking, I've got two, I've got black bra 
a white bra and then obviously I've got another one that I'll be wearing and then I can just wash them so I might pop in one more I've got a sort of nude one as well I might pop that in as well and then down here I have got a pack of just Primark hair bands hello look you can see me look at my hair it's so curly today it's really I haven't I've got out of the bath and not even done anything anyway so I've got my hairbrush which also doubles up as a mirror and then I've got three or four I think four what they call hair clips basically because it's going to be hot and I know lots of people go out and they do all their hair and stuff to go to the parks and have it all flowing and that but I just can't cope with it I just want to clip it up out of the way the last thing is my towel um, there's a story behind this which I will quickly tell you so it is obviously a Walt Disney World towel now we got this when Jake was one year old we took him to Disney we, he actually went for his first birthday and we were sitting there with the boys in the double buggy, Bailey and Jake, waiting to watch the parade. And Jake threw up everywhere. And I mean proper one-year-old, like not baby sick. He was sick all over the buggy, all over his clothes, all over his shoes. So a cast member came over and said, oh, we'll go and get you a towel. And she came back with a black old, like, I don't know, just a towel that she'd found in like the back room. And another cast member said, hang on a minute, this is Disney they need a Disney towel so they went and got this out of the shop and even back then it was like 20 something dollars and they just gave it to us to line the buggy with after we'd washed it out so that he didn't have to sit in the wet so we've kept it all this time I mean Jake's 12 now so we're talking 11 years but I thought it has to go home so <laughs> I'm taking that back but it always, I just don't ever want to get rid of this towel because it just always reminds me of when we first took Jake so I now need to fit all of this into R2 cases Okay, so next up for me to pack is our toiletries. So all of this here is going in our cases. None of this needs to come in our hand luggage. We've checked and this is all fine to be packed in the cases. So I'm going to put most of this in these, see what I can fit and then I'll show you what I've done. And what we are taking, this I'll probably just pop straight in. We've got some surf so we can do our washing. I've also got three umbrellas. So we've got some plasters in case you get blisters two lots of the virus or cold sore cream got all of our sun creams i know i have had comments from people saying that nivea sun is not as high rated as some of the others i think it's a four star it says superior and this soleil one is a five star and says what does that say ultra so i just need to bear that in mind that's why i went out and actually bought another two these are like a transparent spray We've got an insect repellent spray, we've got some once daily Malibu and then like I said we've got the Calypso Scalp Protection and two Nivea Sun 50 Plus. We've then got a massive pan 10 that we can all share, we've got a moisturiser, I absolutely love this cocoa radiant stuff so I've got it in a bottle, I've also got it in a can but this doesn't last very long especially between five of us. We've got some coconut island shower gel which we can also all share and then we can just buy stuff out there once we run out we've got deodorant for Steve, one for me, one for Jake and one for Bailey obviously Oscar doesn't use one because he's only nine we've got some toothpaste, all got new toothbrushes I've got some new razors, there's four in there this is my absolute favourite body spray in the world, it always reminds me of holidays I've got some dry shampoo some of the little squash squeezy juices that you just add to water to make like a diluted drink. I've got some little scissors for cutting out tags and things. I've also got my nail clippers in there. I've got some perfume, so my big Hugo Boss woman and a little Vera Wang princess. And then we've just got Steve's shaver and two of his aftershaves. Right, so I've managed to get most bits into those four separate bags. They're quite heavy, so what I'm going to do, obviously we've got four suitcases, so I'm going to distribute them amongst the suitcases. I did um, sort of decant the toothpaste, the scalp cream, and also my nail clippers. I mean, they don't really need to go in a tin. And then I've managed to get this bag off of Oscar. <laughs> it had all his squishies in it. I'm just going to take the toothbrushes out of their packaging as well and then these last two bits are going to go in there and then that's pretty much all of our toiletries apart from my makeup which I'm going to do in a second so this is the makeup I'm taking I'm not going mad or at least I don't think I am obviously it's going to be really really hot and humid so makeup's just going to slide off my face anyway but this is kind of like my day-to-day -day stuff I've just got a moisturizer in there this is the one I use it's a simple one I've got my eyebrow stuff which is part of the Anna Ciccone, 
um, eyebrow kit so it's her collab with Benefit so I've got the high brow glow pencil I've got my foolproof brow powder my 3d brow tones highlighter then I've got my two pencils depending on how I feel I'm actually having my eyebrows um, waxed and tinted tomorrow at Benefit so I've got a three and a half and a four depending on how long they stay on with all the sunshine and chlorine. I'm going to do my nails with this. I've got a plaster on at the moment because I've got a sore finger. But I've got this Rita Aura um, Rimmel Burnt Orange kind of nail polish and I'm going to put a top coat over that. I've got my Bare Minerals Contour Kit. I've got my Sexy Mother Pucker Soap and Glory Lip Gloss. I've got my eyebrow curlers. I've... No... I've got my eyelash curlers, <laughs> I'd have a job trying to curl my eyebrows with those. I've got a brow pencil that I actually sometimes use for an eyeliner. I've got my favourite, favourite ever uh, Rimmel foundation, it's almost gone, it's the lasting finished 25 hour breathable with SPF 20. Apparently they've discontinued this now, so if anyone knows of a decent medium coverage foundation, I absolutely love this, it's my favourite I've ever tried. And they stopped making it so does anyone know of any that were like this does anyone else use this or used to use this do you know where you can still get it or is there one comparable because i really really need to know but yeah i'm gonna have to try and find something else i've got all my real techniques brushes i've got my contour brush and my foundation brush my eyebrow brush and all my eye makeup brush and everything there I've got a little pack of nail polish remover pads so I didn't have to take the whole bottle and pads and everything. I've got my Bad Gal Bang mascara. This is my favourite mascara in the world. It's by Benefit. I absolutely love it. And I love the fact that they have brought out a limited edition pink one. I've also got my Kat Von D eye palette. And then I'm taking this contour palette basically just for this highlighter. It's only a Primark palette, but I've not found a highlighter in any kit that I like as much as I like this. It's like a cream and it's really shiny and not too over the top. And then just a couple of safety pins because you never know. And my pencil sharpener. So so that is all the makeup I'm taking. Right, so here is everything in the cases. It's so exciting. It really doesn't look like much. Like, we've got loads of room. Wow, can you hear that rain? Look. I don't know if you can see it. It's absolutely teeming down. Obviously, there's going to be a few last-minute bits to add. We've got the two cases for the three boys. And then we've got mine and Steve's. We've oh, my goodness. That rain is absolutely mad. That's so bad. Anyway... Back to the packing so we've still got quite a lot of room these are massive cases but it means all the more souvenirs we're probably going to put the towels out across the top and then strap them in and maybe um, obviously try and secure these things so they don't roll away everywhere so next i will take you through our hand luggage right so moving on to hand luggage these are the boys bits and i will show you ours in a moment so we've got bailey's bag i've just left his plane and he's got his two books, one that he's reading at the moment and another one that he got for his birthday. He's got a bag of Harry Boat, just if we get to a point where they're really, really bored. I know we get food on the plane, but can't go wrong with a bag of Harry Boat Star Mix. He's got his iPad. He's going to take his little fan. These are the Easy AC or Easy ACC fans. They're USB rechargeable and they're really awesome. They fold out. So you can hold them and I thought they'd be really good for in the parks and things. So he's got that. He's got two packs of playing cards. Um, a nice notebook and pen just in case we want to play noughts and crosses or hangman or something. Or if he wants to write about anything. And then his sunglasses. So that's Bailey's. Might also put a packet of chewing gum or some polos or something in with that. And get a bottle of water when we get through security. So this is Jake's, I've just put his little Lego man keyring on so we know that's Jake's bag. He's got Aragon which he's reading at the moment and then he's got the other Skullduggery book. Again, he's got some Harry Bow and his iPad. He's got his spare glasses because knowing Jake he's going to need them. Two lots of Top Trumps and his fan. And then Oscar has got his little Virgin Holidays kids crew keyring that they sent through to him. Um, and also his virgin lanyard you wear this on the plane apparently you get special treats and also you can put all stickers in it everywhere you go that's virgin like the v-rim and things which is really cool we've got david williams demon dentist he's got his ipad we're taking his groovy grip colored pencils i might take them out of the box but actually i might leave them in and it keeps them all together um, one of these coloring books so i don't mind sitting and doing some of that with him as well he's also got some sweets 
his fan. We've got Uno, we absolutely love Uno. And then he's also got a notebook and I'm gonna pop a pen in there. And like I said, maybe some polos and things as well. And the only other thing we might do is get these two some sunglasses. We might get them before we go. If not, we'll grab some while we're out there because they just seem to go through them and lose them constantly. So that's what the boys are taking in their hand luggage. Right, so here is mine and Steve's hand luggage. It's quite laughable, really, because I've just said to Steve, what on earth am I going to put in my bag? Because basically all the electronics and things that we need for filming are going to go in Steve's bag because he's got a proper camera bag. So we've got our MacBook, our hard drive. We've got the big digital SLR, another lens. We've got Steve's drone, spare batteries. We've got the GoPro, the floaty handle, longer handle. <laughs> The suction cup for the GoPro. We've also got some chargers. That is the tripod for the bigger camera. We've got some adapters. There's also some chargers, there's spare memory cards, there's USB adapters and leads that we need for the MacBook. We've got Steve's earbuds and his Kindle. Obviously we're also gonna have our phones in here and we've also got Steve's um, normal headphones for on the plane. And that is everything that Steve is taking in his hand luggage. In mine. <laughs> completely different so i've got the tripod and muff for this camera obviously this camera is also going in if you're wondering what it is it's the g7x mark ii i've got two pairs of sunglasses i've got my um Chimula charm bracelet and my ted baker french bulldog necklace so i'm just going to pop those in as well i've got the passport so without me no one's going anywhere <laughs> Um, I've also got all our documents in this document wallet, everything that you need to print out for our hotel and our car hire and everything. And then our passports will just slot in here and this will fit in my handbag. I'm just taking my little Michael Kors handbag. Got some sweets, kind of emergency um, if the boy's ears get blocked or just to pull out when they really get too much and I've got a surprise bag of sweets. Scrunchy in case I just want to get my hair up off of my head and sometimes we've got a plastic clip on it hurts when you lean back My little pouch that I keep my cards and money in I've got a hairbrush my kindle Then I've also got some medication just some ibuprofen some cold and flu capsules and some indigestion tablets I also need to get a few packs of paracetamol I've got my headphones for the plane and also my earbuds in case we want to listen to them while we're out there and that is about it. I think I'm also going to get a small, like under 100ml moisturiser and maybe a lip balm and put it in a clear plastic bag to take through. And then when, once we're through security, I think I'm also going to buy a body spray or deodorant or something just to spray after we've been sitting on the plane for nine hours. And I will also probably have my hoodie in my bag as well in case I get cold. So I hope you've enjoyed that video and a little look into what we are taking as a family of five to Florida for three weeks. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you hit the like button. And if you'd like to stick around, go and subscribe now. We post every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. And I will see you guys, hopefully, in our next video. This is what we waited for.